Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos. Whatever it was, it was a universal application by then. So I'm super excited about this afternoon. This afternoon, um, I'm on a journey. Um, my coach is going to come up in front of you and teach you um, and pour into you. And then I'm going to have you turn to each other and begin to do some work. The morning was about opening you up to new possibilities. Because before you have, before you do something different, your mindset has to begin to shift. And whatever your mindset is, your life will follow. Whatever your mindset is, your bank account is. Whatever your mindset is, your relationships are. I, come on, I mean, it might sting a little bit. Is that all right? Right? It might sting a little bit. Wherever your mindset is, is where your health is. So we need to move our mental zip code. Say, move my mental zip code. Move our mental zip code. See, we need to pack our mental bag and move our mental zip code and thank and bless where it was, but realize I am living in a new location. And then everything in your life will follow that new space. You move your mental mindset about money, hey, and your money will have to go to where your mindset is. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. You move your mental mindset about relationships and love, and the love no has problem. To that conversation. You move your mindset about health and wellness. And, a, and, a, and, and you in health and wellness. Make sure you guys invite your friends and followers and share this on Twitter. The mindset for me in that health and wellness. And Abundance the now is the topic of Davis health Brown. Health I can Let's it? let Lisa know, know that the hex stars are in the building. You know, I did the same thing, everybody else did. Hey, let's work out. Like, there's no secret sauce or the way I did it without Thank you guys for the invite. You know, lotion I can put on at night before I went to bed. You know? <laughs> I would have stopped in that, right? It's just, it was just the mindset that I had to adopt about me and fitness before I could do it. So this whole conversation is just the beginning. Say just the beginning. Just the beginning. Talk to your neighbor and say, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. We haven't even done any work yet. Tell them. They do all the work on stage. Tell them. <laughs> like when you think like that, like we think that we're doing the work when we're studying. You're not studying, you're moving your mental zip code. That's all. And then you get an action to have your life meet. Yeah, a little bit. Does that make sense, you guys? So I want to be very clear. What are the, and I asked for you early, what are the three things that you want to have and what are the three things that you need coaching on in order to make it happen? So I'm going to ask you again, ask you another question, ask you to talk to your partner. And I want you to ask, Tell your partner, either side, just choose. If you don't have a partner, pick a partner on your left and right. And I want you to tell your partner, what are you willing to do now that you weren't willing to do two years ago? You know, because some things you're fed up with. Some things you're done, like I'm done. Making. So turn to your partner right now. If you have to talk in sets of three, that's fine. Ready, set, go. What are you willing to do, you you willing to do now? You're about to piece up you, girl. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm definitely going to add now and not later. All right, what are you good at? What are you good at? I'm good at a lot of things, but I think what I'm going to do differently that I haven't done two years ago is act now and not later. Act now and not later. Yeah, not procrastinate and not get comfortable. Procrastinate. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? I am willing to add to the time in it. That's right. That's what I'm doing. That's right. So, 29th of February. Okay. That's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm actually, I'm actually so excited. Yes. So let your neighbor know you're doing my way. That's right. Let your neighbor know. Call me one time at the call. Look, look at God. That's right. It is time to call. That's right. Right, yeah. Today's the 21st. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Yes. Thank you. We live here. So this is the presenter. You've heard me reference her throughout the day. Because she is, you know, if I wrote a book, she wasn't in it, the book wouldn't be complete. I'm proud. And when I wrote a bunch of now, she spread it all over the years. Yep. So that's Isn't the that something? thread that she's had in my life. It just came to pass. Um, yep. Yep. It's crazy. 
I want to be, and I love having conversations that no one else will have. Necessary conversations. Hey, Demita. So I have never had a white woman in my intimate space before. It's just the reality. I was born and raised in South Central LA. That wasn't the culture. That wasn't the community. There was no one around. She did? It wasn't my preference. And then society creates a divide. Yeah. And then we buy into the divide without having our own experience. So I just love to speak to, speak to the elephant in the room. So when I met Susie at a conference like this, which is why I, I, I insist you guys touch each other and bless each other and know each other because you don't know the diamond that's in the room with you. When I met Susie at this conference, um, I had been speaking for a while and she came in and she was a speaker and she was powerful and I really liked her. And what really made me fall in love with her immediately was she came up to me and she said, I have two African-American daughters, and um, I'd like for you to consider being Auntie Lisa. Oh, man. She said, because I need my daughters to see a powerful black woman. Amen. I need them to see themselves. Amen. I was done. I was done. You know, when a mother, a mother, black, white, Asian, Latino, when hey, a mother Chris. says, I can't be all things to my child, yes. would you step in? Yes. So from that moment, I was Auntie Lisa. They were eight and 10. Then I think now they're like 28 and 30 or 20, you know, something older. Right? Something older with children. Man, hey, Janine. Man, beautiful things like that. And I'm Auntie Lisa and have been all those years. And then as I watched her, I saw the way she did business. And her business was a, it was like a fluid machine, well oiled machine. And I was so used to the grind. How many of you guys? I thought, I, I learned it gotta be hard. Suck up. You can ask across your forehead and you suck up. And then one day in heaven you're gonna get yours, right? That was what I, I don't know what you learned. I don't know what you learned, but I learned it by seven years, it's gonna be really good. God forbid I get there and I hear, well, you didn't have to suffer so much. <laughs> but I believe the rumor. And I saw her running business seamless and with fluidity, with grace, and with ease and having fun. I, I first found the clappers at her event. This was years ago. I'm like, I'm going to take fun. This. And I saw her numbers growing multi, multi million dollars. And then she quit her company or sold her company for millions and just chilled. <laughs> All right, that's. That's legal. <laughs> you can be in your 40s and chilling like no. that. You're not even sneaking and chilling. <laughs> Just chilling. Like, she was like, oh, I'm, I was like, can, let's get together. She's like, oh, well, give me about 22 days. I'm going to go to Paris for 21. <laughs> I was like, for one, two, or two, one? <laughs> and I just saw her life. And I went to her and I said, like you asked me to be the auntie to your Children, will you be the breath to my business? I don't know what I don't know. And the very first she said, ask me anything. I said, well, the first question I have to ask you is what questions should I be asking? Like, that's when you surrender. So I don't even know what I don't know. There's nothing to protect here. And she, she took me in for... $3,750 a month. And it was very clear to me that was a discount. And she began to develop my business muscle. And she began, and she saw something in me when I didn't see it in myself. And when I wanted to give up because it felt too hard, I'm a single mom and I'm leaving my son and he's eight years old and, and people are calling on me and asking me to do things I didn't really know if I could really do. And when I wanted to sit the, the, the mantle down, she would pick it up and say, I, I'll hold it for you until you get the strength again. Okay. If I were in a foxhole, you know, in the war, you're in a foxhole, I'm in a foxhole, and I, I can have one or two people with me, I'd want Margaret on my left, and I'd want Susie on my right. And then I could go to sleep in the middle of a war, because I know they got me. They ain't my sleep. They not my sleep. And so, what I'm most excited about in my company these days, because it hasn't always been this case, but for the last seven years, 
What I'm most excited about is that I not only get to bring to you my light, my gift, and my brilliance about business, but I get to bring to you my coach's brilliance about business and about life. So please, pick up your clappers, stand on your feet, and help me welcome my friend, my coach, my sister, Miss Susie Carter! She's out there crying. I love you.